Hello and welcome to our house. Is it a, does it qualify as a house? I don't know. Sure, why not? <laughs> our lovely house. Uh, this is the house on the property here that we are going to renovate, uh, do an addition on. Sorry, we're in the dark in the shadows because the sun is really bright today, which is surprising because for the last week since we actually got the keys to this thing, it has been dumping rain. And so we really haven't got very far. Um, but we're getting over here today. We got some good light. Let's uh, go do a little walkthrough, show them what we're starting with, and then uh, you guys can, can see if you think we're crazy. Sounds good. Welcome. Yeah. So this... Uh, this little space right here with these little vaulted ceilings, this was an addition um, in the 80s on this house. So first part here, that's going to be, that is the front door now. This is going to be more front door. I stepped on something. I have no idea. There's stuff all over. Um, like toy <laughs> I just, I love these windows. I love these windows. Old aluminum windows. They're so amazing and they're all failed anyways, but all that stuff's obviously getting replaced. What do you think about the carpet? Should we keep the carpet? You think? Yes? No? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I'm convincing her on that one. So, um, this part here, as our plan goes right now, you want us to talk about the plan as we go here? Sure. Okay, cool. Let's just do that. So this area over here is going to become the kitchen. This will be all kitchen here. Um, this will remain front door. We'll hopefully have a nice patio out here. And then this space out here, Looking out at our awesome view, all the way back to the trees back there. Um, this will be in addition with the master suite on this side and a dining room and family room in this area over here. Still debating a little bit right now whether we're going to do uh, vaulted ceilings, exposed trusses, beams, all those kinds of things, but that's... All uh, the things that really add up as you start adding adding on the dollars and time definitely time too so we are obviously not living here um right now in the house and i really like to get in the house just not with it looking like this so uh, the sooner we could get it cleaned up and uh and be able to get moved into the house the better off we would be so uh back into the old part of the house this is the most awesome epic kitchen i think i've never yeah no this is terrible um have you ever seen a sink like this, though? This is a crazy sink. I kind of don't mind the corner sink, just not necessarily this corner sink. <laughs> this separated like that with the squirter in the front here? This is yeah, good, half so. of our pans won't even fit in that. <laughs> right. Um, so there's that. Here is our main living room. Uh, it does have a wood stove. We will be keeping the wood stove. Um, and I think I think we're talking about adding a second wood stove, right? Yes. Down at that end of the house? Because we're going to... More like a built-in, like, fireplace yeah. insert, right? I don't know. Some, some sort of wood heat source. <laughs> yeah, wood heat's good. Uh, power does go out out this area, and so that's good, too, uh, to have wood heat. So, um, awesome wood paneling. This is actually kind of kind of cool. This is better than just your your fake paneling that they all did. So, um, here, you, you take this for a second and check out this awesome hallway. As we get down in this... It's awesome. Hit your elbows on the wall hallway here, right? I like For those of you who don't know Zach, yeah, I'm he not is he is fairly average size. He's six foot. You know, he's yeah. he's not like you know a giant bodybuilder or I'm something. Not, like not. it's a very I narrow. I think hallway. that I am in my mind, but I'm really not. <laughs> um. It's okay. I'm a supermodel in my mind too. <laughs> anyway, and then we get down here, down the narrow hall, and we go to this really wide hall. Uh, so our, our hope is to take this wall, move it over this direction so we get a normal size hallway. Um, this space right here, we're going to get rid of the front door there. This space right here is going to become closets for a double bedroom off of that space. This bedroom here will just simply get cleaned up uh, and turned back into a bedroom. So this is probably the room with the least done to it. In fact, it really just gets new doors. Um, windows. We're going to replace windows and trim those out. Floors. Floors. Yes. Spider webs. We gotta get these spider webs. Uh, this will be the kids' bathroom. We're gonna we're gonna steal one of the closets out of Do the you next room. Turn the light on in there. Uh, I 
had to turn, okay, so I turned one breaker off because the kids uh, pulled the string on the fan and turned the ceiling fan on and there was no way to turn it off that I could find. So I turned one breaker oh. off and I seemed to have killed all the lights in the house. That's, that's fun. Yeah, so. Um, so that bathroom gets made a little bit bigger by, um, by stealing this closet here and adding to that bathroom. This bedroom will stay a bedroom. It's got another closet over this way. I guess this is what you would call the master. Spring wow. I'm the, technically challenged. I guess this is what you would call the, the master bedroom. It did have two closets in it. Like a, uh, we're going to steal that one and attach it to that bathroom over there for a little bit more room out of that bathroom. So the other one's here. The other one's here. So it'll be a little bit smaller, but this is going to be a kid's room again. Um, and then it's got this awesome bathroom. Uh, this is part of the addition. This is an interesting little thing here. They did this is part of the addition. Um, this will get sucked back this direction, and we'll have more room in uh, in kitchen. the kitchen area on the other side. So that's kind of the plan. This is this is this is awesome. I love the blue room. It, should... It's always a good sign when they keep a bucket of water by the toilet, right? Yeah. So. The previous owners did leave us with some stuff. We obviously have to get that cleaned up and out of here. Um, and get, you know, probably start with getting this carpet out of here because it's just gross and wrinkly. Cheap carpet. Um, but that's the dime tour. Hey, you turned that light on. What do you know? Oh, did I? It did ah. come on when I first flipped the switch. Um, utility room here. Let's see, I think I killed the lights in here too, but utility room with the awesome shelf of stuff, utility stuff, that's all gonna go. This old panel, this will be one of our first projects. This is um, known as a Federal Pacific Energy. I was the manufacturer of these. These are, these are very bad. If you have one of these in your house, I highly recommend getting them replaced right away. Federal Pacific Energy panels. They are known uh, for catching fire. So getting that replaced is gonna be pretty much at the front of the docket. Um, first house that we bought together 14, 13, I don't even know how many years ago uh, had one and that was one of the first things we did there too. It was like that. 10 years ago because when it was, Logan was a year old. There you go. It's 10 years ago. Almost 11 years. It feels like it's longer. It does. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is going to be the kitchen. This is that, uh, that bathroom from the other side. This will get moved over. Um, that window will get enlarged. That's going to be uh, a door that will go into the pantry. We'll have a nice big pantry because you like a big pantry. I'm so excited for the pantry. That's right. So uh, that is the house. Let's go ahead and go back outside. I'll take you on a quick tour of the loveliness that is the outside of this house. Um, it says in the uh, sales brochure that it has wood siding. I guess that's wood. It was at one point. Uh, AC unit, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that works. The fireplace looks like, I don't know when this was added, but obviously it's old. If you could tell next to it up there, it's actually covering one of the vents in the roof up there. So it was an add on, but that's, that's terrible. That's gonna go. Um, other than that, yeah, it's basically just a big mess. This side doesn't look too bad. We are gonna start, I think here pretty soon, as soon as we can get our lift here. Uh, taking some of these trees, this guy, probably this guy because it's just leaning over the house. Maybe trim some branches off of this one. We don't know what kind of trees these are. They've got this absolutely huge bark on them. It sticks out. And they are covered in thorns. Jump up here and see if you can see, see these things. If you guys know what kind of trees these are, uh, let us know because I don't know what they are and we haven't been able to figure it out yet. Uh, we're going to take this, this bigger one right here out because uh, it is entirely leaning over the house. Overall, what are going to be the kids' rooms? <laughs> yes, over what are going to be the kids' rooms. Um, other aspects of what we're going to do, because we want to leave the rest of these trees. They're pretty cool. They are on the north side, but they're going to look great in the summer. Give us some shade back here. We want to drop, uh, we have to replace the meter because it doesn't meet code anymore when we start talking about that panel. So we're going to drop this overhead line going out to our pole here and go underground. 
which I'm sure is going to be a nightmare to get dug over here with all these roots. But uh, got to do it. We're going to make it happen. So here's the back side of that addition. Like I just I love I love how they treated this thing and how it's got these joints and like this was yeah I don't know interesting. They've got like an extra piece of plexiglass. Oh weird. Screwed over the top of this window. Like try to keep hmm. it warmer or something. Warmer? Yeah. Uh, gutters are all overflowing. These are those snap together gutters. Gutters are not that expensive. Pay for real gutters. Don't use that. Terrible product. Um, cool architectural detail down here. It's gonna go. So this is the space where the new addition will be coming out here and out here and out that way a little bit coming this way there is our lovely barn if uh if this barn wasn't here we probably would not have bought the property i don't know is that a fair that, is that a fair statement probably fairly accurate <laughs> <laughs> the barn was a major the barn is really sure. cool and it of course um like everything else has lots of of issues and things as well but we'll try to take care of those as we go you can't um, you just can't be the old barn you just can't They're be an old so barn so cool so uh thank you guys for watching uh hopefully you're interested enough to stay tuned and check out some more of these episodes and uh and see what kind of trouble we get into and we find in this project so i'm sure there's going to be something <laughs> that we're not be looking entertaining for. yes uh and we'll we'll do some future episodes um running around the rest of the property and the barn oh i almost forgot to mention right over that way we're gonna be building a new equipment shed and that should be a, a good project in and of itself. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. You guys, have a great day. Bye.